So Movita Johnson Harrell, she is the first Muslim lawmaker to serve in the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. She was sworn in the other day and a Republican legislator did not take too kindly to that and she passive aggressively mentioned Jesus at least 13 times in the opening prayer that she conducted before the swearing in. Jesus, I thank you for this privilege, Lord, of letting me pray, God, that I, Jesus, am your ambassador here today, standing here representing you, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the great I am, the one who's coming back again, the one who came, died, and rose again on the third day, and I'm so privileged to stand here today. So thank you for this honor, Jesus. God, for those that came before us, like George Washington and Valley Forge and Abraham Lincoln, who sought after you in Gettysburg, Jesus. That was just a portion of it. She mentioned Jesus a lot more. Look, uh, I know people are religious, but that's just very unhinged. To me, it seems very disconnected from reality. And that was State Representative Stephanie Borowitz. She is a Republican. The Congresswoman, Movita Johnson Harrell, had something to say about that, and she said this as quoted in the Huffington Post. Johnson Harrell, a Democrat whose installation Monday was attended by family and friends, 32 of whom were Muslim, said in the news segment above in the article that Borowitz's invocation was a political statement masked as a prayer. I thought that it was laced with Islamophobia and xenophobia, Johnson Harrell said. And the real kicker for me, at least, is that she mentioned Donald Trump's protection of Israel. Let's watch that part. President Trump, Lord, thank you that he stands beside Israel unequivocally, Lord. Look, I feel terrible for new state representative Johnson Harrell that she has to go through this kind of bigotry and Islamophobia. Islamophobia is one of the only acceptable forms of bigotry in this country today. There's bigotry for every minority group, but Islamophobia is mainstream. It, a lot of people say openly bigoted things who are considered leftists. I've done videos about that before. Someone like Bill Maher, I would say. And you can just openly be completely bigoted towards a Muslim lawmaker in the state house in Pennsylvania, as we just saw. And I also want to make the second point, never forget that these kinds of crazy evangelicals are behind the pro-Israel lobby in the US. I am super critical of the Israel lobby here, AIPAC, not people like J Street who are trying to do the right thing, but the neoconservative Israel lobby that doesn't want any s criticism of Israel, that wants to prevent Israel from receiving any negative reactions to their apartheid state and to the human rights abuses that they're overseeing there against the Palestinian people. But there are real people like this, crazed evangelicals who think Armageddon is going to come if the Jews uh, take over Israel. They, they basically want Armageddon to come, all the Jews to die, so that the chosen people, the evangelicals, can be lifted into heaven and be with Jesus once again. Maybe I'm butchering that because, look, I don't really read fairy tales, so I don't care, but that's as anti-Semitic as it gets. They're going from scripture, not from some belief in Israel or some protection of the Jewish people. This is inherently racist. So when people like Ilan Omar are accused of bigotry, it blows my mind because the people who are accusing her of bigotry, they're doing it disingenuously they're the real bigots. People like Mike Pence spoke at APAC. People like Mike Pompeo. People like this evangelical leader in the Pennsylvania State House are the ones who are behind the Israel lobby in the United States, the neoconservative Israel lobby, which is the dominant force in our politics. Not Jewish groups, the Israel lobby. It's entirely different. And we have to see it for what it is. They are motivated by neocons, people who want to ramp up tensions in the region by uh, going against Iran and wanting there to never be peace, and also by nutty evangelicals like this one who are openly racist and bigoted towards their new colleagues in the Pennsylvania State House. So we cannot forget that this is a huge factor behind all of this crazed, never criticize Israel sentiment in the United States.